Hello everybody, Akurai here, and welcome back to another uh, Akurai Talks video, and in today's video, I thought we'd talk about something that in Street Fighter would be kind of interesting and kind of important, Street I guess, Fighter to a degree, two. and that is the uh, missions and, of course, the challenges and stuff, and you're probably thinking, Akurai, why do you want to do, like, what may seem like a short talk about this, and in many ways, it's mostly because of the fact that I thought that it would be important for you to learn or at least have an idea Street about, um, you know, why challenges and the missions that you may see are kind of important. Um, so, to start off with this, um, let's start with missions. Every week, you're, of course, given a group of missions. And, of course, during this group of missions, you can have a choice of how you're going to, um, or what you're going to do, you know. And these missions consist of little challenges that you can do to help earn yourself some money. Now, back in the day when this game first got released, obviously there was there were a lot of money involved. There was a lot of ways to make money through the weekly challenges. And most people, I think, in the weekly challenges back in the original days of Street Fighter 5? Yeah, Street Fighter 5 made almost, I think it was like close to 10,000 or so um, game, in, game the, of the in-game currency. And with that being said, it made it Round very, one. very easy for them Fight. and for people to to really just get points of, you know, having a future to get all the characters if they didn't buy the season pass or something. Obviously, if you did buy the season pass and you've bought in every season up to now, then, of course, you know, as it is, and as it stands, you probably have um, gotten yourself at least a decent amount of cash. A decent amount of, you know, uh, you should buy all the in-game items, all the in-game, I guess you could say, story mode costumes. But, I mean, overall, with that being said, you know, the weekly challenges do help you at least gain in-game money. Towards buying all the characters that you want to buy through Season 1 and 3. Obviously, even though we are just getting, getting started in Season 4. For, um, for, of course, um, you know, Street Fighter 5. There's no guarantee that there are new characters coming out anytime soon. Kaji is the only character that we, that we know of. And, obviously, at this point, we don't even know if, you know, Street Fighter, or, or in this case, Capcom, actually have a, um actually have another character in in the works i mean you know who's to say that there is going to be another character in the works who's to say that you know we can basically you know see a we will basically see a character that you know that someone is going to enjoy someone is going to you know someone is going to uh be playing you know Japan. And, I mean, with that being said, of course, we have no real idea. We can't really say for sure. But, I would recommend that, at least for now, if you are playing the game, get the in-game currency as much as you can. Do as much as you can to win as much in-game currency as you can. Because, because obviously, you know, when a new character Fight. besides Kaji gets announced, um, you know, at least you'll be ready. Now, let's talk about the challenges. What are the challenges? Why are the challenges important? What do we need to do the challenges for? Why should I even look at the challenges? Well, for the most part, the challenges do allow you to gain a new costume for free. Now, obviously, you'll have to, over the course of, of I think, of a, of a month, you'll have to defeat every challenge and win every challenge. Now, of course, there is a risk slash reward to that. Um, the risk slash reward, of course, being the fact that you may end up with a challenge that is, you know, it's going to get harder. Especially as you get closer and closer to the next costume, or to the costume, you're going to find that you're going to need more and more money to, of course, get that costume. And, um, you know, also with new uh, fortune tickets, which are recently just now out, you know... Fortune tickets also allow you to gain costumes and extra items for arcade mode. But, I mean, you know, overall, you know, that's basically it. That's basically the big thing about, you, you know, win. playing through arcade mode or whatever. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry about the yawn there, but anyway. 
So, you know. Hello, everybody. Akurai here, and welcome back to another uh, Akurai Talks video. And in today's video, I thought we'd talk about something that in Street Fighter would be kind of interesting and kind of important, I guess, to a degree. And that is the uh, missions and, of course, the challenges and stuff. And you're probably thinking, Akurai, why do you want to do, like, what may seem like a short talk about this? And in many ways, it's mostly because of the fact that I thought that it would be important for you to learn or at least have an idea about, um, you know, why challenges and Round missions one. that you may see are kind of important. Right. Um, so to start off with this, um, let's start with missions. Every week, you're, of course, given a group of missions. And, of course, during this group of missions, you can have a choice of how you're going to, um, or what you're going to do, you know. And these missions consist of little challenges that you can do to help earn yourself some money. Now, back in the day when this game first got released, obviously there was there were a lot of money involved. There was a lot of ways to make money through the weekly challenges. And most people, I think, in the weekly challenges back in the original days of Street Fighter 5? Yeah, Street Fighter 5 made almost, I think it was like close to 10,000 or so um game in game the of the in-game currency and with that being said it made it very very easy for them and for people to to really just get points of you know having a future to get all the characters if they didn't buy the season pass or something obviously if you did buy the season pass and you bought in every season up to now then of course you know as it is, and as it stands, you, of course, probably have, um, gotten yourself at least a decent amount of cash. A decent amount of, you know, well, you should buy all the in-game items, all the in-game, I guess you could say, story mode costumes. But, I mean, overall, with that being said, you know, the weekly challenges do help you at least gain in-game money. Towards buying all the characters that you want to buy through Season 1 and 3. Obviously, even though we are just getting, getting started in Season 4. For, um, for, of course, um, you know, Street Fighter 5. There's no guarantee that there are new characters coming out anytime soon. Kaji is the only 